Hi, I'm Chanya Kaur and I'll be taking you through the Paroma series launched under Pure Royale in 2022. So in front of me I have the main uh, catalogue from the Paroma series. It's a collection of four books together. Paroma is all about a uh, fusion of East and West. We have uh, a lot of archival designs. Some of our artworks are actually made out of hand blocks and then incorporated as patterns and further translated into embroideries and digital prints. So they're perfect for drapery, upholstery, headboards. It's a mix of fabrics with uh, compositions like uh, linen, viscose, cotton. So very durable at the same time. So I'm gonna just start with this book here. So this is the main catalog and um, this has some of the lead designs, some of the big patterns, a lot of prints, embroideries, and it's spread across uh, four different color palettes. So starting from the indigo, tones of blues, and uh, further moving on to blush, which then goes to the greens, and the last palette is the earthy, the beige, gold. So I'm gonna pull uh, different catalogs out and then show you how we can go about mixing fabrics and patterns from these catalogs. And the best way to use the collection is to get them all on the table and then work out a combination. So this is the sheer book, which coordinates beautifully with the main book. Here we have uh, printed shears, we have woven shears, we have ombre shears and all in wider width. So for instance, if I was looking at this fabric, it looks like a hand printed with a kind of a distressed print at the back. So something like this, if I had to combine a shear with it, I have various options. I could go very, very eclectic and add a stripe, which is again complements the main. I could just do a blue linen or I can even add an ombre so that goes right from the ivory to a blue and like a cobalt sort of a color. So there are various options that you can combine while you're using the Paroma series. The next catalog in this series is one of my favorites which is the coordinate because here we have some techniques coming into picture. You can see like there's an embroidery on a cotton linen blend. There's a digitally printed velvet. So if I had to move to the blue palette, so again, like this is a very nice fabric again, because it's a mixed technique. There's a print on the ground and then there's an embroidery running over it. It's got that little cruel stitch happening, which gives it that hand done and handcrafted effect. So here I would definitely try and mix something like that. So this is a very ethnic design going a bit towards geometric direction which is again hand block and block print inspired and we could get a motive like this in here so if you see this is a traditional Indian motive with this the bird and the kind of work done there and it is definitely all made by hand block so you get that hand done look so I already have three books on the table which have complemented and added a lot to each other. It is still very subtle and it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It will add a lot of character to the space and there are patterns going on. The last book uh, in this series is quite crucial to the collection because it holds the entire collection together. As it's upholstery, the Martindale is quite high. It's very good for your sofas, bed bags, chairs, etc. So if I had to work with this, I would definitely select my main design, add a complementary design from the coordinates, bring in a shear, and then move to this book where I can get either, you know, if I want a stripe to complement this on a couch, whether I want a small scale texture, a solid, or a small stripe. I could even have two of them, like even to bring in this and then even this this pattern here is really very beautiful and that little beige that's complementing the grey actually the greyish here and here so this is what Paroma is where you bring in different fabrics from the books and you create your own story so this is one of the palettes the other palette which I can quickly 
show you is this blush and then we break this with a shear in the shears we have several patterns but say we go in for just this shear so I think that's really nice and it looked beautiful in a um, nice bright space so for instance if your wall colors were somewhere there so we're not talking about a stark white space but somewhere you know in this zone and we break this with this pattern so again a very unique combination we're moving from another ethnic pattern uh, which looks like a hand-drawn uh, design to something more geometric and eclectic and we bring in a nice coordinate from the blush palette this sort of an embroidery so this is like a nice cotton linen viscose ground with a uh, viscose embroidery motif you could do something like that so going down on the scale of the design in a little paisley so Paroma is all about a beautiful blend of Western and Eastern designs inspired by the Indian culture and the English traditional patterns. So using Paroma can, in any space I think can add a lot of character and it can really make a lot of difference when you're working with all the four books together and that's the Paroma collection for you.